in Detroit speaks English. We all speak different varieties of American. Oh, if you don't believe me, just go to the United Kingdom. And as soon as you open your mouth in the United Kingdom, they'll say, oh, you're from America. Because they hear you speak in American. Linguists knew that nobody in here speaks English. But only black children 50 years ago were singled out as speaking bad English. In the 1961, there's been all over the internet now, John Kennedy could stand at the inauguration in January and say, he is not what your country can do for you. He is rather what you can do for your country. How do you spell he is? <laughs> Nobody ever said to John Kennedy, that's not English. Yes, what's yes? Only to a black child would they say, you speak bad English. That's right. Kennedy got killed. Johnson stepped up to the podium in Love Field. We just left Love Field. And Johnson said, more follow more, goodness. How do you spell follow? How do you spell more, goodness? Nobody says to Johnson, you speak bad English. Ed Kennedy, today, those of you in the Congress, Sister Kilpatrick, you know Ed Kennedy today cannot pronounce cluster consonants. Very few people from Boston can. They pronounce P-A-R-K, park, like it's P-O-C-K. Where did you park the cock? They pronounce F-O-R-T, fort, like it's F-O-U-C-H-T, fort. We fought a good battle. And nobody says to a Kennedy, you speak bad English. Only to a black child was that said. Linguists knew that 50 years ago. And they also knew, number two, that every language, including the language of Jesus, Aramaic, was made up of five subsets, pragmatics, grammar, syntax, semantics, and phonics, and that African speakers of English and African speakers of French and African speakers of Portuguese and African speakers of Spanish in the New World had created languages, not dialects, all with five different subsets. Languages, not Creole or Patois, languages. And Dr. Smitherman compiled the findings of an interdisciplinary research along with her own brilliant findings to show us that the language of black Americans was different, not deficient. She combined the findings of early childhood education, linguistics, sociolinguistics, and the pedagogy of the oppressed to demonstrate most powerfully that different does not mean deficient. It simply means what? Different. I believe a change is going to come because many of us are committed to changing the way we see others who are different. What Dr. Janice Hale did in the field of education, and what Dr. Geneva Smitherman did in the field of linguistics, Dr. Elkin Sitoli did in the field of ethnomusicology, the field of music. He showed us 40 years ago what Whitney Phipps is teaching some of you for the first time 40 years later. African music is different from European music. Mm -hmm. It is not deficient. It is different. different. In most school systems still today, the way most of us over 40 years of age were taught is still being taught. We were taught a European paradigm as if Europe had the only music that there was in the world. As a matter of fact, if you just say the term classical music, today most hearers of that term will automatically refer to Beethoven, Tchaikovsky, Liszt, and already cited Mozart and Handel, European musicians from grammar school through graduate school, we are taught in 4-4 four, four time that the dominant beat is on 1 and 3. Our band directors, our choir directors, our orchestra directors start us up how? And 1, 2, 3, four. 1, 2, 3. Now that is the European dominant beat. For Africans and African Americans, it is not one and three, it is two and four. <laughs> I have to teach you. Y'all just listen to black people clap to this song. Glory, glory, hallelujah. You are clapping on peace to Friends, <laughs> they'll be 
What's he doing? The same fact holds true with six, eight times. Europeans stress one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. dum. The stress is on one and four. Not for black people. <laughs> you got six, eight times. Black stress two, three. And five. <laughs> Like the NACP. <laughs> 
fought for equality, fought for human dignity, fought for civil rights, fought for equal protection under the law, and fought for the right of every citizen to have quality education, regardless of the color of their skin. I also come from a religious tradition that says if you feel excited about something, be excited about it. 